Hello and welcome. We're going to do this really pretty set of river rocks. Slightly wet, but not underwater. Let's get started. Hello and welcome to Deliberately Creative. I'm Stephanie and I'm going to be working on this set of river rocks. I'm going to put the reference photo right up here. It is just a reference. It is not going to be done exactly like that. But I loved the turquoise color stones, the kind of rusty orange and the brown, all and the splots and all of that stuff. So we're just going to get started here really quick. I am going to be drawing this real time because it's really easy and then uh, we'll start putting in some of the colors in real time and then I'll go to fast forward because after we get the first couple rocks with the different colors I think you guys will have it then we'll come back and do the details I'm just using a mechanical pencil and I'm gonna go in here this is a piece of 100% cotton watercolor paper it is a pre-cut piece of Strathmore 500. So nice paper to work on. So I'm going to put a big stone. This is that big sort of roundish one that's got the gray and um, the turquoise blue. And then I'm going to say there's one that's kind of the triangular shape. Now rocks are going to be laying on top and underneath. I might leave some space and say that these are actually closer to the ground level. And that's okay. You know, you don't have to make uh, this picture exactly the same. I see this one rock that I really want to make sure that I get in. It's got these, it's got this nice kind of squared off rectangular shape. And another one over here that's sort of shaped like that. I don't need to have any of those extra little lines. It's just a guideline basically for my brain. And then on top here, there's another one that's a kind of a, maybe a potato or, oh, you know what? I could make it a little more almost heart shape. It's not a perfect heart shape. It's just an almost heart shape rock. You know those rocks that you find on the beach and you go, oh, here's a heart. It, it, it could be a heart if you're looking at it the right way. And then I think there's going to be another one. I'm not going to be using any masking fluid on this. There's going to be speckles. I will be using some white colored pencil on here. I think I want to make that one bigger. Just like that. So like I said, the reference is just a reference. It's not telling me exactly where everything is going. I think there's going to be kind of a small rock that's tucked in underneath of here. And then that'll be down to the dirt level. I'm going to say that there's an edge on that one. And there's that rock there. There we go. That's enough. These might change a little bit as I paint. We're going to zoom in now. I'm just going to use this uh, fan palette. It's the Superior Watercolors. Just whatever watercolor you have. I just happen to have this sitting next to me. I think I am going to actually put in some of the blue tones first. So that way I don't, I don't lose that because the blue ones are sort of the, the star, the on top. I'm going to grab some of this. I don't know. It's kind of a, not the, quite the blue that I wanted. Let's look at that. Ooh, there we go. That's more. And then maybe a bit of the green into it. Need to get it a little more turquoise now. A little more blue. Keep going with the blue. It's 
pretty dark, huh? Neat thing about it is that you can add more water to it. I think I'm going to go ahead and get this rock wet. I don't care that the pencil is on there because it is pretty much going to disappear as we get all of the, the different colors and things on here. Let's see, I want a little bit more green. A little more green, a little more turquoise. Look at that, I left it kind of light up here on the very top. There's gonna to be some dirty sand put on, but not until after it has dried. So I'm gonna go ahead and maybe see if I can find a really dark blue. Maybe that is my darkest blue. That is my darkest blue. That made it a little more green, but it's a little bit darker. Ooh, yeah. This is giving me my, my shadow on this side here where it's wet, but it's still part of the stone color. That's nice. I'm learning as I go, guys. I am exploring. I am so grateful that you're along with me on this journey. If you enjoy these types of videos, you know, share them with other people. Watch all the way to the end. You never know what I'm going to come up with at the end of a video. So, yeah. Keep your eyes open. You never know what's going to happen. I like that. I think I'm gonna let that one dry. And I'm gonna move over to this one. And I think this one is actually going to be more of an orangey, orangey brown red. So we're gonna go with Oh, there, that's getting a little bit better. And then I think I'll take some orange into it. This is kind of a red oxide color, I think. Ooh, that's making it more of a rusty red color. And then I want something that's a little more yellow ochre-y. All right, so now we've got this sort of yellow ochre, reddish rust. I like that. That's a nice color. I'm not worried about going outside the lines either, guys. Don't worry about going outside the lines. Ooh. Yeah, I like that. And maybe a little bit of this darker color around that edge. See, because that just really bled out there, didn't it? That was nice. I like how that bled out. Gave me texture without it being boom texture in your face. I like that. I think I'm going to take this color. It's sort of more red, orangey brown. Just drop it over here. And maybe just take some of that yellow ochre. Every stone will be different. Even if they came from the same mama rock, they're all gonna be different. But I'm saying that this one probably has lots of, this has lots of variety in it. I'm gonna grab some more. Kind of brown. I know there's shadow under here because the that other rock is sitting on top of it. And get that. I 
This is still really wet, so it's okay. Maybe I'll maybe I'll just do that over here too, just in case I want a little more speckle. Ooh, some of those speckles on that blue rock. That's cool because it's kind of dried a little bit. Oh, I am loving this project. Just wanted a little bit more brown. I'm not worried if it's getting all over the place here. We can just let it get all over the place. These are rocks. They're dirty. There's, there's stuff going on here. Some variety. Doesn't all have to be the same color. All right. I like that. I'm going to skip. Wow. I need to just get my dark in right here. There we go. Oh, I like that there's so much texture in this now. That's, yeah, that's making me happy. I think we're gonna put a little bit of this extra brown right in here. It's starting to dry a little bit, so I can put some of this in and have it start giving me some shape without being too obtrusive. It's damp enough that it's still blurring a little bit, which is nice. And this is just a number eight round brush. I'm not, you know, you can use any brush. All right, I think those are good. I need to dry this so that I can get some of my other rocks. Now, I, if I wanted to, I could just let this sit and dry naturally. I've been having one of those days where it's been really hard to settle down. So now that I actually am getting started, I need to continue. All right. This, this one right here that looks kind of like a heart, I am going to make it sort of that uh, rusty red that's sitting underneath of the blue. Kind of like the color that this one should have been, but isn't. <laughs> and that's okay. So I'm going to go with a kind of rusty red. I've got that reddish brown there. I need to have more red in it. So I'm going to go, I think this red. Ooh, yeah. Boom, right there. And then I can add some other colors to it. This would be a really pretty natural, you know, Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, um, Friends Day, I'm thinking of you day, <laughs> whatever, um, with just a subtle heart. You know, not, it's not anything really big and bold. Unless you want it to be. I like that. I'm going to grab some brown. Get some brown on that. I'll soften it out with some clean water, but first I want to get that color on there. I could use a little green. Maybe I'll take a little bit of that blue green. Oh, yeah, look at that. Color that was already used in the painting. That actually went kind of purpley almost, but it's gray, purple, made with the colors that are already in the painting. 
That's sweet. All right, maybe a touch of that dark over on this side. Maybe I'll even splatter a little bit of that. Ooh, yeah. And again, I don't mind if that color gets sprinkled around other places. Look, I'm going to put some purposefully on that rock and maybe a little bit over here on this. Neat. Oh, very neat. All right, we're going to go into fast forward and I will meet you back here when I'm all done painting and then we'll do some detail. I'm going to put some white Prismacolor in 
as some highlights very lightly. I'm looking at the rocks and going, there's a bit of a highlight and the texture of the paper is fine because rocks have texture. So don't, don't worry too much about the texture of the paper showing through. The white Prismacolor is just for those highlights and I'm putting them in softly. You could use probably any, any kind of colored pencil that shows up on top of dark. So don't, don't be too fussed about making sure that it's exactly this. It doesn't have to be. I'm looking at this going, okay, we're, we're going to have a bit of a highlight here. This is that almost a heart rock. There's that shine right along here. There's a bit of a shine up here. We are going to go in and put a dark color into the background. Don't worry. That's, that is still going to happen. And these are rocks, they're wet, but they're not, they're not underwater. So they have a shine. Where you put the water or where you put the, the shine, it's going to lift it. If you put the shine kind of close to some of the dark, the dark is going to fall away and the shine is going to lift it up. That's what, what happens is dark goes to the back on shiny things. It's their shadows. Put a little bit here. And see, I'm really being light. I'm not, I'm not pushing at all. I'm whatever the paper is taking is what is going on there. I'm not, I'm not pushing because I don't want to, I don't want to dent the paper. It is mostly dry, might not be 100% dry. So see, just, just a light hand. I don't want to do too much or I'll end up with it just being all shine and no shadow. Although I do want a little bit. Kind of right over here. It gives just the hint of a little bit more of a heart right there. You know, you, you got to do a little bit, right? Yeah, I'm really pleased. That's all I'm going to do with that. And because we put the splatters in, the rocks have texture. I don't think we need to do any more for that. Now I need to come up with a really, really dark. And the I can do that because I actually put some of the Daniel Smith black lunar black down here in the last tray of my palette and look how dark that is now i don't want it to be totally black i do want a bit of a brown to it so i'm going to grab a little bit of this sort of sepia tone and Maybe mix it on here on the palette with a little bit of whatever this is here. So that way I can have a couple different varieties of color. And I'm just going to carefully go in and paint around my rocks because there's not that much area to do. It's okay. I'm fine with doing that. I don't mind if a little bit of it ends up being lighter color. I am going to take some of that darker tone and drop it in here too. Especially in areas where like these rocks are really close to the dirt color or the bottom color that I just put in. I might add a little bit more black to that. 
but I just want to get look at how that just makes these rocks pop up Wow, a little bit of background, that's all it takes. All right, I'm gonna fast forward the last little bits of this and I'll meet you right back. Whoa. <laughs> All right, guys, what do you think? I am really, really pleased. Let me take some of the water out of that. I am really pleased. I think I'm going to dry this, darken up this corner just a little more. Yeah, I did end up painting over that little rock right there. It just wasn't making any sense to my brain. So if it doesn't make sense to your brain, don't leave it in. Let's see if that's a little bit darker. Right down in here. bit doesn't make any sense so I'm just going to take that little bit out just make that rock a little bit different oh <laughs> okay we're going to dry this I'm going to sign it and then we're going to pull the tape off slightly damp brush just going to soften that little shadow bit there See, even after drying it, I could go in and do little, little refining bits. It doesn't have to be a big production, just a little something here and there. I just want to soften those shadows up a little. And that one I need to, t to knock back a little bit more. There we go. Oh yeah. There we go. All right, we're gonna pull the tape off. Well, no, I need to sign it. So I'm gonna sign it over here on this light colored rock. All signed. So we're going to pull that tape off. there we are. Oh, wow. Wet river rocks, a little bit of shine, just with watercolor. We didn't even use a pen except to make my signature. How cool is that? A little bit of colored pencil, but it was just one white pencil to do all of that shine. 
so cool. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure that you click that like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends, and thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Remember, go out and do something creative, take care of yourself so you can take care of those around you. I want to see you back here again really soon. Bye-bye.